It looks like Blueface is still looking for trouble after going on a Twitter rant with his baby mama a couple of days ago, but now his trolling has targeted the wrong man. After Creeshawn left him high and dry after their breakup, the rapper decided to try his luck with NLE Choppa's girl. Now as you can imagine, NLE didn't take it lightly, and that started a back and forth on Twitter. Keep watching as we're gonna break it all down for you. Creeshawn Rock, Blueface's ex-girl, just exposed him for trying to get it on with Marissa, who just gave birth to NLE's son. Rock took to Twitter saying in her now deleted post, you over there trying to crack NLE Choppa baby mama. She dubbed you. You got no riz, my boy. After NLE got randomly caught up between Blueface's Twitter rant, he immediately went ahead and quote tweeted Rock's tweet by saying, I was MIA like Creeshawn Tooth, back letting loose like he had to poot. Although this is a pretty weird way to hop into the conversation, he was letting everyone know that he's paying attention to what's being said by Rock and Blueface. Before you start judging NLE Choppa for even bothering to reply to Blueface's tweets, just know that he tried to solve the matter civilly without causing any more drama. But Blue was trying to provoke NLE like he was on on a mission for drama. Blue himself revealed that NLE was trying to have a conversation over the phone, but he never responded. Blue tweeted, NLE has been calling my phone all day about his baby mama, but I'm tender. Blueface clearly doesn't want to clear up any of his tweets or squash any possible beef he could be potentially stirring up between himself and NLE. After realizing this, he told him to keep on bullying women because that isn't going to work here. And he also told him to stop snitching because that isn't very SY of him. He finished off his tweet by shouting out his new album, Shot of Flow 7. It's rather obvious that Blue is trying hard to keep himself in the spotlight by tweeting out crazy accusations on Twitter. Because he continued his trolling spree by saying, he hopped on that no riz train till he's seen I had that number. Now I'm his shot of flow remix friend. Don't call me about no bitch boy. NLE Choppa responded to news that Blueface tried to hit on his child's mother Marissa. In the comment section of an Instagram post about the attempt, Choppa wrote, he tender call him Diddy. Fans believe that Blue is playing with fire and trying to stir up drama to keep himself relevant as he claims he will no longer be putting out music to run his own music label he named MILF Music. One fan tweeted out a TikTok of NLE Choppa playing a song of his where he's dissing Blueface and the fans captioned it saying NLE Choppa is not feeling Blueface at all is burning all his bridges, lost his career, money, fiance, and his friends, and he's still beefing with any rapper who associates with Rock. He's done. It all started when NLE's baby mama went on an Instagram live with Rock after Blueface tried to allegedly hit on her when they ran into each other in Vegas. Marissa explained that Blue tried to pester her about NLE when she told him that she wasn't interested in sleeping with him. He just pulled me to the side and he was just acting- In front of everybody? Yeah, well, yeah. Marissa explained that she rejected Blueface's advances under the disguise of being friends with his ex. She said, I'm not interested. I know your baby mama. And I was like, you know my baby daddy. He was like, who's your baby daddy? And I told him, he was like, you're going to choose my baby mama over me? And I was like, yeah. He pulled me to the side. He asked me what my name was. Um, you know, and I, I, I just told him, like, I'm not interested. You know, I know your baby mom. He was like, how well do you know her? He was like, can you call her? I was like, yeah. He was like, call her. And I was like, my phone is locked up or whatever. And I was like, and plus, you, you know. You can call me. We got each other number. That's the funny thing. And I was like, and you know my baby daddy. And so he was like, who your baby daddy? And I told him. And he was like. You know who your baby daddy is. And I, he was like, well, how you old You online crying about this stupid ass nigga that's playing with you. So, Everybody know who the fuck your baby daddy is. Right. So go ahead, Marissa. So he was like. Well, how old is the, or how old is the, how is y'all kid? And I was like, three months. And he was just like, so you, so my you baby gonna, three months too. He was like, so you gonna choose my baby mama over me? And I was like, yeah. But Marissa's statement upset him really bad because then Blue started to get aggressive with her. And then he was just like, um, I went to walk off and he pulled me. He was like, don't walk away from me like that. And I was like, I just looked at him like, this ain't that. Interestingly, all this happened in a span of a few days after the California rapper revealed that he had done a secret paternity test that confirmed that he wasn't the father of Rock's son. He tweeted, Tell me why I snook and swab. This baby DNA test results came in. I am not the father SMH. It's a bittersweet feeling because I was coming around to it, but definitely in my best interest. Thank you, Jesus. He then followed this tweet up by saying, I can't even pretend like I'm not happy as hell. Blue dropped the news after he publicly accused Rock of leaving his then child abandoned to go on a date. Blue claimed that he found the baby at the house of Rock's friend who's named Marsh. He went on to his Instagram live and said, It's crazy that my son ain't got no parent at 4 in the morning. Nobody wants to watch him. She got Marsh watching the baby at 4 in the morning so she can what? Get some Do a verse? All this so you could do a verse? Suck some You're a bunk It's crazy. My son ain't got no parent at 4 in the morning. Nobody want to watch him. She got Marsh. Oh she got Marsh watching the baby at 4 in the morning so she could what? Get some Do a verse? Let me get in here, bro. 
All this so you could do a verse? You a boof, bitch. However, Rock debunked Blues' allegations, revealing that his son was under the appropriate care of a qualified babysitter. Double XL reported that Blueface allegedly used violence against her and took her child outside without anything to protect the baby from the cold. Rock later explained that Blue had forcefully taken the baby to his penthouse, just out of spite. She tweeted, I'm pushing 160 on the highway to get to my son. Blueface is at the penthouse drunk at 4 a.m. in the morning, blowing up my phone to get pushed. He go get my baby out of spite because I'm with K Suave at the studio putting a verse on Cloud9 Remix. Marsh lives with me so they at home while blue breaking in the crib to steal my child to get me to him so he can slap TF out of me for being with K Suave. Marsh continues to not leave the baby's side because I still don't know where he's taking my child. Who want part two of the video? I have receipts of the whole night. Mind you my baby got no clothes on when he took my son. Then he drunk driving crashing and shit. Lord please protect us from this demon. Blue face you are a demon. Marsh! It's like the word bro. Got the baby, bro. Hello, blue, blue. Marsh, Marsh, Marsh. Marsh, chill out, bro. Marsh, not arguing. Do I not arguing, bro? If he ask you a question, answer straight up. Stop being smart, bro. What is this a cop? No, just slow down. Hold I can't. Hold on. Slow down. Hold on. 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 she didn't update on the situation, she hinted in her next post that she will get her blue tattoo removed. She tweeted, I need a tattoo artist. I need all this covered up. Enough is enough. Now these weren't empty words on Rock's part. She actually stayed true to her words by covering her neck tats with a giant rose. Tattoo artist, where you at? Looks like Rock is finally completely over her toxic ex-lover. However, that doesn't seem to be the case for Blue, because on top of making things difficult for Rock and NLE, he is still bothering other rappers such as Offset. Blueface tweeted, Being tatted on a hoe is not a flex. You literally f***ed Cardi B husband a couple weeks ago. I'm tired of looking at me while they f***ing you. Get the rest of them gone ASAP, please. The former Migos member responded immediately, shutting down the allegation by reposting Blueface's tweet and saying, I ain't never talk or touch that lady. Rock also took to her official X page to respond to the allegation. She wrote, you crashing out making up shit. Now, unlike most times, Blueface was actually telling the truth to a certain degree. You see, Blue dropped the key information regarding the alleged encounter in his next tweet. So you ain't Cardi's husband on November 10th at 4 a.m. at their house in LA? I'm making this up? Post that time and date on there. 
is, and now everybody's quiet. Although Cardi B has not publicly responded to the allegations, she did, however, take to Instagram to reveal that she has been single for a while now. She confirmed that she and Offset were no longer together. During an Instagram Live, Cardi told her viewers, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid. Not afraid, I just don't know how to tell the world. But I feel like today has been a sign. The last time I got on Live, I kinda wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you, so I changed my mind. But it has been like this for a minute now, and I just took it as a sign. I want to start 2024 fresh and open. I don't know, I'm curious for a new life, for a new beginning. Yeah, I am excited. To put me none of that. I don't know if y'all been getting clues from me for my life. I mean, I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music or for my own followings. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world. But I feel like today has been like a sign. Like I've been, the last time I got on live, I kind of wanted you guys to tell you, I kind of wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind, but it has been like this for a minute now. And I was just, I just took it as a sign. So, I wanna, I wanna start 2024 like fresh, open. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new life, for a new beginning. And yeah, I'm excited. Apart from that, Blueface knew that his public rants would gain significant traction, so he just invited all of them to join the circus. He said, "You." decided to join Blue's Circus. When you guys decided to indulge, you guys watch the show. See how sh** plays out online every time. So for you men and females that decide to enter the chat, there's no mercy. I ain't deleting shit, and everything I said is factual. Welcome to the circus. What do you guys think about all of this? Make sure to leave your comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching.